Hello everyone, Brian here with the Hobby Farm Guys. Today we spotlight a feathery giant of a chicken, the Cochin. Stick around to learn more about this extra fluffy, extra friendly breed of chicken. The Cochin traces its origins to the Shanghai province of China. In the mid-1800s, Chinese breeders focused on producing a large productive chicken. These Shanghai chickens were exported to Britain, where Queen Victoria became adored by them, resulting in a bit of a craze for the hens. Referred to at the time as Cochin Chinas, breeders focused on appearance and aesthetics. Egg production fell, but the bird remained a popular meat bird for a time, until further selective breeding for the parents diminished the quality of the meat as well. Today, cochins are primarily used as show birds or as pets. Covered in feathers right down to their toes, cochins have a couple traits that potentially make them a good fit for a hobby farm or homestead. Recognized by the American Poultry Association in over a dozen color patterns, they were admitted to the standard of perfection in 1874. Cochins sport a single red comb with red wattles and earlobes. The eyes are yellow color and the beak can range from yellow to black with the rule of thumb being the darker the feather color, the darker the beak. One of the larger chicken breeds out there, cocks average around 11 pounds and hens 8 to 9 pounds. Despite their large size, cochins are among the gentlest of chickens, making them popular as house pets or lap chickens. Extremely docile, cochins who can live for up to 10 years get high marks for friendliness and snuggle factor, but rank near the bottom of the pecking order and struggle in a mixed flock with aggressive birds. A relatively quiet breed, cochins will chatter, but they're not known for loud outbursts, making them a good fit for urban settings, especially if you have close neighbors. They also tolerate confinement extremely well, and being such large birds, they also struggle to fly, so a two to three foot fence is going to keep them contained. Containment isn't usually a big concern with these birds as they're somewhat lazy and not prone to wander very far. They also tend to do less scratching, making less of an impact on the yard. They prefer to stay close to the feeder. And they're susceptible to being overweight, so that's something you need to keep an eye on. Their fluffy coat of feathers makes them well adapted to cold climates and they shrug off cold temperatures well. But those fluffy shanks and feathered toes tend to collect dirt, mud, and snow, so a clean, dry area is needed. They can also struggle with heat and require a shady spot to relax in on those warm summer days. A moderate layer, Cochin hens may lay two to three brown eggs each week, or 150 to 180 each year. Cochins are a breed that lays reliably through the cold, dark days of winter, though they often don't start laying until around eight months of age. Slower growing, it may take two years for them to reach full size. Once popular as a table bird, cochins are rarely used for meat anymore. Not a great meat bird and only a moderate egg layer, the cochin hen does have a trait that endears her to hobby farmers and homesteaders. You won't find a better mother. As a broody fowl, they have no equals. Even roosters will occasionally brood the chicks. It seems there's little a cochin hen enjoys more than brooding, and they'll often hatch more than one batch per year if allowed. On top of that, they're great adoptive mothers. Cochins readily accept, sit on, and hatch eggs. Even ducks, turkeys, guineas, and geese. Given many breeds of poultry have had the broodiness bred out of them, keeping a cochin hen around just to play surrogate mom may make the difference in whether you get baby chicks, ducklings, pullets, and goslings on your farm. A devoted mother, a cochin hen will often act as a foster mama and take in abandoned chicks. So that's the cochin, an uber friendly feathery ball of fluff that's quiet, easy to contain, and happy to raise just about anything you can hatch from an egg. Not a prolific layer or exceptional meat bird, her broodiness alone may be the reason to add her to your hobby farm or homestead. Or maybe you just want to show them. Let us know what you think of these feathery chickens by leaving a comment below. Also, 
If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, keep on hobby farming.